Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Kiana and I do a lot of sewing and fashion videos. Today is a very exciting day though because this puppy, this little puppy right here, who I've used my entire life, is getting replaced. First though, let's just pay some tribute to my old girl because she has come in handy. This is the Brother Pace Setter NX200. I have used it my entire life. It used to be my mom's. I've used it my entire college career, high school career, middle school career. It served me well. My mom told me that she got this from le for less than $100 a while ago, but mom, I just wanna address this on the internet. I could just call you, but I'm gonna address it here. I don't think this was $100, dude, because I looked this up and it says like $600. I don't think they make it anymore, but I, I think that's what it went for back in the day. So either you got a really good deal on this or you don't know how much you paid because yeah. Anyways, she's really old, but she works. She's done so many collections for me, but I've decided since I'm going to make this my career, it's time to level up. Mainly the only thing I dislike about this machine is the stitch width and stitch length adjustments because you can't know exactly how long or wide your stitch is going to be because it's like, it's not a number pad. It's What's it called? This is just a slide lever, which for consistency is not great. So yeah, but other than that, this puppy has served me well. So I might do a giveaway of it. I'm not gonna do one soon because I just did a giveaway. I think it, end, it ended yesterday or today. Yeah, but I think I might do a giveaway of this girl, which would make me sad though because I love her so much. We've been through so much together, but yeah. Anyways, bye. Bye to this girl. Later. See you never. And this is my new machine. Yay. I saved it in the box. I can't, like, I literally can't get in this frame because this box is freaking huge. Um, I saved it in the box so that you guys could see it. But let's open this boy. How do I get this out? It's huge. Okay, guys. I've now been trying for, like, five minutes to lift out of the box. And I'm too weak. So maybe it's time to hit the gym. Do you think I'll break this table if I get on this table? I don't have like enough arm strength to like lift it up and out. I need to get like above it. Do you think that my table can handle this weight? Oh my God. Okay, I'm gonna do it. Oh God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Get off the table, get off the table. Oh my God. That was heavy. Okay, let's see, let's open it up. Oh my, oh my god, it just smells so good. It smells like plastic, literally. It just smells like plastic wrap, but it smells new. It smells new. Oh, it's fine. It was just the foot pedal. We're good. We're good. Look how shiny this boy is. Look at this boy. This is the Juki DX2000 QVP and I'm so excited. I was going to get the Juki 1500 QVP, but then when I got to my sewing store, I got all of my sewing machines from Capital Sewing Quilts in Cary. I'll link them down below. Um, when I got there, they really convinced me to get the 2000. And you know, for just a tiny bit more, I was like, you're right, I need the 2000, you're right. You're right. Okay, let me just say that this was a hefty chunk of change and um, please don't unsubscribe for me because this was expensive and I, I, I have to make this my career now, guys, okay? Okay, please, please stay with me. <laughs> Anyways, I am a Juki junkie. They are for sure my favorite sewing machine. I just love the brand. I've never met a Juki machine I didn't like. They are the bomb. They kind of fuse their industrial technology into the home sewing machines and they are just some powerful little guys. So I love them. So let's open this girl. Oh, she's live. Let's start with the most exciting part. I don't know what all of these little attachments and stuff are. Let's get rid of that for now. We don't care. We care about this. Guys, it's beautiful. Look at this screen. The display is so pretty. Oh my God, there are more. There are more presser feet in here. I have literally, how many presser feet do I have? They gave me one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 presser feet came with this machine. Extra. Also, this is what I'm very excited about. So, Juki, I don't know, maybe other brands do it too. Um, definitely industrial sewing machines, but on industrial Jukis, there's a feature that if you press back on the presser foot, it will automatically backstitch for you and then cut your thread. So, not only can you press forward to sew, but you can press back and it will, you can program it to do different things. So I can program it to do like two back stitches and then a cut or just two back stitches or just a cut. And this will do that for you. I'm pretty sure that's what you can do with the, oh my God. Okay, hold on, stop. What? This has a little winder for your, so, ah. Oh. It, it winds your cord so it doesn't get all tangled. It's the little things, guys. Anyways, what I was saying, I'm pretty sure you can program it. It's either that or it just does the cut, um, but on the industrial machines, you can program it to do different things. It smells so new. It smells like a new car. Oh my God. Holy crap, look how big this manual is. That is an encyclopedia. Oh my God, it's huge. And it comes with a video though, little disc. Okay guys, it is now multiple hours later. I have truly never been happier and um, that's all you need to know. I practiced a bunch of stitches. So you can see I practiced a bunch of heart stitches. Um, it's like kind of pulling in weird ways because I went really fast. Also, it's not interfaced. And um, yeah, I, I would expect it to pull in a weird way. But that is just so cute that they have little hearts. I am definitely going to be using that. I mean, it's not like anything special that they have hearts, but um, I just love hearts. They're so cute. Why am I being so excited about the hearts? There are so many other things in this machine that are so much more practical that I'll actually use, but just hearts make me happy, okay? To be honest with you, I think the most practical things on this sewing machine are one, it's more powerful. Two, it's a lot faster than my old one. Three, I can see my stitch width, stitch length adjustments, thank God. The automatic thread cutter is cool. The fact that I can lift my presser foot and needle with just a push of a button is awesome. This stitch selector panel is really great, really user-friendly, I love this. The throat plate converts from a zigzag to a straight stitch throat plate. So if you press this button, it will turn into a straight stitch throat plate and it will support your fabric and it will basically just make it impossible for your machine to eat your fabric, which is chef's kiss, okay? Oh my God, wait, check out this bad boy. It's an attachment so I can take off this and put on this and that way if I'm working on, oh! Basically, then I can have more of my project at the same level with my needle and that will help with like tension and pulling issues, which is, again, chef's kiss. I can't believe I've made four collections, gone through an entire college career and done my passion with a 20 year old sewing machine, bro. So like that just proves to you like you don't need the nicest machine to get started. But now I do have the nicest machine, I love you. <laughs> my heart. Okay, so it's been a few days since I unboxed my machine and tried it out, but I still haven't like tried a real project on it because I've been busy with other things. So this girly has just been sitting here. Look how beautiful she is. And look, 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 a knee pedal. So when you press the knee pedal, the presser foot goes. And I mean, like, it's not anything crazy, but it's just the little things that make me so excited. So I thought I'd try it out and I was going to do a whole another project that I haven't done before because, you know, we're always trying to push ourselves, but not today. So I'm going to use my cowl neck pattern and make a little quick cowl neck with that yard of fabric that I accidentally bought from fabric.com. If you saw my vlog, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> the cowl neck was the first pattern that I made for Etsy. And so I literally, after I did it, I just threw the pattern away. <laughs> so now I had to print an entirely new one and I have to put it back together. So um, three points for being dumb. Okay, I've cut out my fabric. 
And here she is, the star of the show. Oh, she's heavy though. Oh, why am I why am I lifting my presser foot like that when I can do it with a touch of a button? Silly me. Okay. Okay, already messing things up. Already messing things up. I'm scared. I'm scared. It makes like big sounds. I can like hear everything moving on the inside. Woo! I think we can go faster. How fast do you go? I'm scared. Oh, oh my god, it goes too fast. <laughs> that was scary. Okay, I think that was bad. I'm not gonna lie. Oh my god, I'm making so many mistakes. Oh! Oh, actually, that was a lot. That wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. <laughs> okay, here's the shirt. I'm wearing pink already. But I used my cowl neck pattern, but I did it a little bit different. I cut two straps for each side, placed it where they normally would go, and then I just tied them up at the top. Um, so that it would be less of a deep cowl and I just like the look of the tied up sides. Okay, so let's try a TikTok transition on the YouTube. Ready? Ready? Here we go. Ta-da! Did it work? Did it work? So, here's my top. I think it's really cute. The fabric I picked is a lightweight crepe and it just does this nice cowl neck so nice. Um, I love my little tie things. So yeah, cute, 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 cute. Okay, what is our final consensus? Our final consensus is that this is the best purchase of my life so far. Okay, that's dramatic, but um, it works. <laughs> so far, I'm still like a little bit unsure of how to use it. I'm up to page 90 though, now on the user manual been reading nightly and I still get tripped up by a few things but the coolest thing is when I'm sewing I can feel that it's more powerful I can feel the needle just seamlessly go through the fabric without struggling at all it's just kind of like like butter it's so nice but yeah looking forward to doing a lot more tutorials with this bad boy anyways hope you enjoyed this little unboxing trying out my sewing machine video and if you are not already following me on instagram and tiktok please feel free to do so i would really like that and yeah thank you guys so much for watching this video i'll see you guys next time bye